Right, so I'm just going to show you how to use ExploitDB and I'm going to basically explain a little bit. Now, I'll additionally leave timestamps for you, so if you want just to skip ahead to how to actually use ExploitDB, feel free to do so, but if you want a bit more knowledge, if you want to learn something, then make sure that you watch the whole video because I will explain how to find vulnerable versions, how to exploit them, and how to sort of use Google as your friend because Googling stuff is very, very important in info hack, ethical hacking and cybersecurity. Right, so step number one is doing reconnaissance. Reconnaissance is one of the most important, basically, steps of exploitation or hacking or ethical hacking or penetration testing, whatever you want to call it. It is important because without penetration or without reconnaissance and penetration testing, sorry, we will not, we will have basically, we're going to waste time because we, we don't know anything about the system and we will just have a harder time. So for CTS, because this is a CTF, the easiest reconnaissance you can do is basically use Nmap, right? Nmap tells you anything you need to know about your target. So in this case, I just run a simple scan, which shows us there's three ports open, right? So we have SSH, we have a website, and we have another website. As you can see, port 8000, HTTP, and this is PHP. Okay, so let's actually investigate. So if you go to HTTP 10.10.88.82, and you just basically go to the website, as you can see, it shows us Apache to Ubuntu default page, and there's really not much there, right? We could also fuzz and see what's here, but in this case, I'm just going to abandon this because I know what, what to do. And um, we have another port. So 8000 is something we're interested in. So as you can see, this is another port and we have an actual website. Then note that basically it says bolt, right? And and actually, in, in this case, there is a bold CMS, which is important because okay. if you so now when I said it is important that you do know what you're going against and what you're actually like targeting, it is important that you do know because if you come to the left corner, right? So I've managed to log in, right? It is basically you don't necessarily always have to log in. Sometimes WordPress, if you use Wappalizer extension on your browser, it tells you what WordPress version it is installed, right? So in this case, we have bold. 3.71. Now, the first thing that you should do is take this version, so bold 3.71, go to Google and type in bold CMS exploit 3.71. It is important that you do know the version because if you don't know the version, it will be hard for you to find the exploit or to basically use the exploit because there could be thousands of exploits or there could be hundreds of versions, right? So we're going to press enter. And as you can see, it is the second option actually, exploit DB, both CMS 3.7 RCE, which is very, very good. Right, but obviously the main part of this video is to for me to show you how to use exploit DB. So in the description below, there will be a link. You get to exploitdb.com. What you can do is you can search any exploit you wish. So in this case, let's just search exploit, sorry, WordPress, not exploit, WordPress. And in the left corner, as you can see, it says there's 1,400 exploit plus for WordPress, right? Which is a big number, right? So obviously, a lot of exploits, right? So you have SQL injection, RC, XSS, XSS, R uh, arbitrary file upload, and really anything you can think of. So in this case, let's let's actually try to find an exploit for us, right? So both CMS 3.70, right? As you can see, there's an exploit. Additionally, now a slightly faster way to basically check the same thing because it search exploit is a script that basically checks any exploits on exploit DB. They're both connected. It's just to basically just use search exploit and the version that you're trying to to target, right? So both CMS in this case. And we're gonna guess all the exploits, right? So as you can see, these are all the exploits with keywords that is just both CMS. And in this case, we have an RCE for 3.70, which works, right? So simple way. Now, one way you can actually do is you can just copy this from a path, but I would say I don't remember any path, so just copy it from the web from the web browser, right? Now, once you find an exploit, your job is basically you need to tell what programming language is written in. In this case, it's Python because first of all, it tells you, plus additionally, I recognize Python. Right, so what we need to do now is just to copy this script into a, a notepad or something and save as Python, right? So what we're gonna do is just gonna copy this from top to bottom, right? Press Ctrl C or copy it any way you want, 
right so once you've copied remember to hop copy the whole script right so from top to bottom including even something you don't think it is a part of the script it is right the whole thing go to basically your editor your text editor in this case i'm just going to use sudo nano exploit.p exploit2.py now remember to save it as the programming language that was written in so in this case it ex ex extension is py which is python so save it as py right paste it now once you paste it remember to obviously check if you need to change the details sometimes you might need to change the ip address or the port or something or the path of the actual exploit or sometimes you need to obviously check if it makes any trouble so sometimes it can delete files or sometimes it can make the file right it, it might not be able to be used anymore right so it is important that you check the exploit if you're doing this against a live production environment right so if you're doing this in bug bounty make sure that you check if it does any damage right it's important that it doesn't do any damage okay now to run this exploit all we need to do is type in python3 and the, basically the file right so in this case it's just exploit.py and as soon as this runs what you should get is you, sh you should get like a little help menu or a usage so in this case as you can see it tells us the usage so just python3 we can ignore this exploit and the euro so in this case it's http 1010 8882 port 8000 obviously this is why i also tell you reconnaissance is very important right because it tells you which or something's running on right because obviously websites and stuff can be running on different ports and the username and password so in this case we need a username and password i know my username and password in this case it's bolt and bolt admin one two three as soon as you let this run it will basically do what it's supposed to do as you can see does some tests and boy um basically has succeeded enter os command op enter operating system command so in this case we're just going to run who am i and it gives you a little basically sort of, I don't know what this is exactly, we're just going to ignore it, but it tells you root. So as you can see, command ejection is obviously there. Right, so that'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment. Obviously, if I helped you in some way, and if you can, please let me know what you would like to see next, as I would like to basically do the ideas that you guys want to watch. And thank you for watching. Peace.